First question is from Furtado No Insta. What is the best way to get a pump for a photo shoot for every body part of the body with body weight only? <laughs> hey, this is a great <laughs> question for Sal right here because so he's got this mastered for our questions. So <laughs> dumb. I know it looks that way, <laughs> but this is flat. I don't know. How was it when you're backstage with all those guys? <laughs> Actually, you know? no, they're, they're uh, yeah, you guys pump, uh, yeah, I want to know about this. You guys this. pump and, each other? And who is uh, the designated okay. like tan paint guy? You though? Well, those, these are two different things you guys I, I just done. picture Adam right, in the back right. like, hey, your, your pump looks good. Yeah, Easy, guy. <laughs> Easy guy. Easy uh, guy. So... Um, yeah, we did. You you have bands backstage. I mean, that's a, extremely common. And so I think the part that like someone who's getting ready for a photo shoot, the you'll air out pretty quick. But there's a couple things that I think that are, are super beneficial to to know what to do, like sodium loading, uh, hitting the the wa the water, the carbs, kind of timing all that, and then also getting the pump. I think will keep that kind of filled out look. Whereas if you do, and I and I notice things like. Uh, if I did something more slow digesting carbohydrates, I would maintain my pump longer than if I did something that was kind of fast acting. Fast acting, quicker pump right away. Like if I was about to get on stage in a few minutes, having something that was like quick sugar, even alcohol, you see some guys will take a shot or do something mm. like that. Uh, to, to get Are it you pounding a bunch of water too, or is it? Uh, you, not a lot, not a bunch. Like so, just what, enough for stage. Yeah, you you would deplete down a little bit on your water, and then right before you get on, you load a little bit. And everybody's body's going to be different, like how much you want to take in. So yeah. for me, it would be like seventy grams of carbs and a half gallon of water uh, about an hour before I uh, get on stage or present mm -hmm. or a photo shoot. And then literally right before the photo shoot or right before you walk on stage, you're getting a full body. I'm doing push ups. I'm doing lateral raises. I'm doing chest flies. Well, where with the band. do you hold your camera? So I'm, I'm yeah. curious on that. <laughs> you know, what, never you, figure that out. You know, what's funny about this is that uh, lean looks better than big in photo shoots. Sure. So, and this is important because I think, Sometimes people get concerned with like, I need to be bigger. And so they do the carbs and the sodium, end up holding water. And they just, and maybe you get a better pump, but you just don't look as good. On well, camera. I mean, who am I talking to right now? What body fat percentage are they at? So that because totally, because you're, you're, you're at the elite well, level, right? Well, yeah. And what will kill you, though, to your point, though, I mean, one of the hardest things about, so I never, I don't think I ever truly bought, brought my best physique to stage when I was judged. It's extremely difficult to time this pump or this perfect look when they're judging. It really is hard. And everybody's body is so different. And depending on how much muscle you have this time around and your metabolism, yeah. I mean, all this stuff matters. And what would happen is a lot of times I would be I would be so afraid of what you just said of like taking in too much that it gives me kind of bloated looking or what in the bodybuilding community we call it like overspilling, right? So having too much carbs or calories yeah. and they're being stored as fat right? And holding on to too much water that I would kind of play to your, like you said, like I want to stay lean and uh, that will present better. But boy, it, then I, then after I would judge in the morning, I'd be like, well, I'm, that's mainly when they decide, right? So you can come into the night show a little softer, whatever you want. Then I would fuck with things. I would go eat a whole bowl of pasta and pound a half gallon of water. And then you see my photos at night. I look 10 times better than when I got judged. This would happen to me yeah. a lot. So there is a there is a, a fine line in that, but the, yeah. this, your, to your point, getting as lean as you possibly can is the best strategy for a photo shoot or getting on stage, and then um, you know loading up with a little bit of carbs and and water be right before you go in, like an hour before you go yeah. into your shoot. Yeah, and I think the best strategy I don't know it's for me at least uh, I haven't done I didn't I didn't compete I only did one real photo shoot this is way back in the day when uh, we did Maps Anabolic. And I did better doing kind of like light band work and going from body part to body part rather than like just doing shoulders and then going to chest. Yeah. It was like, you know, push ups, band rows, laterals, you know, band curls, yeah, close grip push ups. And you just kind of yeah, I went yeah, through that's a what you circuit. Do. You run like a like a like a light circuit. That's you're, it. Again, you're just trying to get a pump. You don't you don't want to be hot and sweaty and get too crazy. But you're just I'm doing push ups and and then I get up and I do lateral raises. The key, do, you're not doing a workout. Do curls. Yeah, no, you're just pumping blood. Yeah, just pumping blood. But what you have to understand is because you're just pumping blood in there, like it'll it'll go out. Like <laughs> you know, so it doesn't. You don't hold that pump for hours. So you literally want to do that like right before the photos or right before you get yeah. on stage. But you can do things with water and carbohydrates and sodium leading up to it to help 
that, but that, that takes a little more practice and experience to probably nail down exactly what your body needs. And I could never give you the formula on a podcast, not knowing yeah. your body, your metabolism, all those things. Yeah. And then for compounds you can take that might help, uh, like citrulline, right? this is what you find in pre-workout supplements that can increase blood flow. Maybe it'll help uh, with the pump. You could try, uh, you know, beetroot powder. So that, that can do a little bit of that. Uh, pycnogenol, I hope I think I'm saying that right, is another compound that can increase nit nitric oxide and help with a little bit of the vascularity in the pump. But none of this matters if you're not really lean. I mean, I just want to say that because yeah. if you're, you know, you're if you're a guy and you're, you know, 10% body fat, you're pretty lean in real life. I'm, but on camera, it's not going to make that big of a difference if you get, you know, if you do the water and the sodium. I'm talking like you got to be shredded for this to really make a difference. Not just lean, but actually shredded. Well, I imagine this person who's getting ready for a photo shoot is, that's the point. Sure. You know, I would think that, that that's the I hope. first. I yeah, Or else, yeah, you're right. That doesn't, there's nothing you can do. Now, here's something that this is what was often communicated in the bodybuilding space. And I can see where this has got value. They always say, don't get your legs pumped. Like, don't don't pump up your quads before you got on stage because it's, hard, it's harder to flex them and produce striations. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, I could totally see that. When my quads get really pumped, I could flex them. They look big, but I can't bring out the like separation. It's like too much blood in the muscle so that and that's that's a uh one of those things that's what do they call that like uh okay. you know anecdote it's, yeah and, and bodybuilders communicate it all the time so